Welcome to Simplify Pharma. In this lecture, we will discuss about analytical method validation, key parameters and tips and tricks to remember them. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. Before I tell you the tips and tricks to memorize the key parameters of method validation, we will just revise what we learned in our last lecture about validation of analytical method. Now why method validation is important in pharmaceutical industry? To identify a source of potential error, this is the reason method validation or validation is an integral part of each and every process that we carry out in pharmaceutical industry because it helps to identify if there is any source of error. Then to determine if the method that is for intended use it is acceptable or not acceptable if we follow a particular method whether we are getting products and after testing if the results are coming within the limits or they are going outside the limit if they are within the limits then we say the method is acceptable to establish that the test data obtained it was consistent reliable and accurate after carrying out tests on various products or various process whatever the data that we have obtained whether it is within the limits only then we can say and every time after following that um, procedure whether the results that we are obtained they are consistent reliable and accurate then also it is a requirement and the regulatory bodies has made it mandatory to carry out validation so that the product and product that we receive it is of good quality along with safety and efficacy then to establish proof that the method can be used for decision making if the method after following a particular method the results that we are obtaining it is consistent reliable accurate then we can use it further so this is why method validation is very important in pharmaceutical industry objectives behind method validation it is to obtain consistent reliable and accurate results true data to demonstrate it is suitable for its intended purpose whatever the method that we are using it is for its intended purpose to form a base for written procedure for production process control which are designed to assure that the drug products they have identity strength quality and purity to hold quality safety and efficacy in final product this is the you know main objective with which we carry out validation in pharmaceutical industry to control each step of manufacturing process and to produce best analytical results possible so what are the advantages if we carry out method validation it builds a degree of confidence not only for the developer but also for the user it produces quality products it reduces product cost by increasing efficacy the rejections the batches that are getting rejected that number reduces and then even the equipment life it uh, prolongs the equipment life because of equipment validation because of uh, maintenance that keeps going on it helps in optimization of process or method that's why uh, we can save time resources cost it helps in process improvement technology transfer and increased employee awareness it eliminates testing repetitions and leads to better time management in the end this is what we want we want to save time we want to save resources money and in our last lecture if you remember the last lecture we ended with just enlisting the parameters key parameters of analytical method validation that is accuracy precision specificity LOD limit of detection, LOQ limit of quantification, linearity, range and robustness. So these are the key parameters involved in, involved in analytical method validation. Now till D farm we this is the basics that we need to understand but for B farm and M farm we need to understand what are these parameters about. So I have made a small table you have to just memorize this table and so that you can write a bit about all these parameters in exam 
This is a table that you have to memorize in which the key parameters and what are they about is given in short. So what you have to do, especially in pharmacy, the students face one big problem that is the uh, syllabus of pharmacy is very vast. So how to memorize most of the things? Always remember, there will be things that you will have to memorize and I'll make sure in the next video, these parameters I'm going to explain in detail so that it's not always about memorizing the concept so that you understand and then it is very easy for you to remember what all these parameters are about. But before that, this is a table that will help you memorize these parameters. Take a printout and paste it on the wall and every morning after waking up, just give one minute and read this table. If you do it for even one month, you will memorize all these parameters. So this is our aim in pharmacy, any concept, anything that you feel it is very difficult to memorize, take a printout, paste it on your wall and every morning after waking up, just give, uh, read it for one minute. And even if you do it for one or two months, you are going to memorize most of the concepts that you find difficult to memorize. So accuracy, that's the agreement between measured and true value, precision, agreement between series of measurement, specificity, ability to measure desired analyte in a complex mixture, limit of detection, lowest amount of analyte that can be detected, limit of quantification, lowest amount of analyte that can be quantified, linearity, it shows a proportionality of measured value to the concentration, range, Concentration interval where method is precise, accurate and linear. Robustness is reproducibility of the data under normal but variable lab condition. So in my next video, I'm going to explain each parameter in detail with examples so that you understand what are all these parameters about. One thing we have to keep in mind, always memorizing the things without understanding, it will stay in your short term memory. But understanding the things and then memorizing, it will stay in your long term memory. So keep tuned to Simplify Pharma for the next video in which I will explain all these parameters in detail. Thank you. Thank you for watching my video.